Spare the turkey. Spare the turkey. Joel was excited about having Thanksgiving at his friend Jessica's house. Then his mom said the world was vegetarian while they were stopped at a red light. They they're what? Daryl asked. Good cherry on there. It means they don't eat meat, his mom replied. I know what that means. Jerry snapped. This is a padlock. The right? So someone else will bring a turkey? I doubt it, his mom said. Then asked everyone to bring vegetarian dishes. Having a no turkey on Thanksgiving is just a pain plain silly. How are they going to make stuffing? Daryl moaned. I'm going to starve. You might be surprised, his mom said with a wink. But Gerald didn't believe her. I need more than rabbit food for Thanksgiving, he muttered. His mom laughed as they pulled into the driveway of Jessica's house. Jessica burst out of the front door, looking excited to see them. She gave Gerald and his mom big welcome hugs before thanking, taking them inside. He introduced them to her parents and other guests. In Daryl's mind, her parents looked a little too well-fed to be vegetarians. I want to show you the dining room, Jessica said. Mom let me decorate it this year, and I made the salad. The dining room was fully decorated. Chains of different colors, construction paper hung from everything. Including around all the chairs, Jessica had even woven multicolored placemats for each place at the table. How are we supposed to sit down? Daryl asked. I hadn't thought of that. Jessica laughed. I guess we'll just have to break the chain. On the table sat the biggest bowl of salad Daryl had ever seen. Green leafy lettuce stuck out from. At the top, he could also make out onions, carrots, tomatoes, and what might have been beets. So this is it? Daryl asked, looking at the salad. How much would he have to eat to feel full? Isn't this fantastic? Jessica asked. Oh, it's wonderful. The best I've seen, Daryl said. It was an impressive salad, but it was only a salad. He didn't want to be rude, though. Maybe he and his mom could get some real food afterward. Then they could laugh about their guinea pig Thanksgiving. I'm glad you like, Jessica said. We usually play board games after the dinner is ready. Want to play? Sure, Daryl Star said, confused. It looked to him as though dinner was ready. Playing board games with everyone was a blast, and Daryl met some cool people. Most of the guests weren't vegetarians either. I've never had a better dinner than what I've had in this house, said one. This family showed up in a restaurant, said another. Dara figured they were being polite because Jessica's family was right there. Either that, or very really like salad. Finally, Jessica's dad said it was time to eat, and everyone filled into the colorful dining room. The room had changed. Everyone's surface was filled with plates, balls, and dishes for food. Everyone broke through, through the chain. The dance started passing the food around. There were mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, bean and cheese tamales, and vegetarian chili. Someone had brought a small vegetarian turkey that juggled in on table and tasted nothing like turkey. Daryl tried some inside dishes. He asked, do you know that sweet potatoes and yams are two different lands? Then Jessica explained that stuffing made with other turkey is called dressing. He even had some of Jessica's salad and told her, her he loved it because he did. At the dessert, his mom leaned over and whispered, I told you that you'd be surprised. Daryl opened his mouth to talk about then leaned back in his chair with a sigh. I'm too full to agree. I argue, he said. 